100-year-old World War II veteran has died weeks after someone attacked him in Longmont. Police were trying to figure out who hurt him. The man was attacked two weeks ago, died yesterday morning from the injuries. CBS 4's Jeff Todd talked to his daughter today, and Jeff, sounds like the entire Longmont community is really shaken up by this. Yeah, Jim, Ken Barheide had lived at this retirement community for three years, and every day he'd go for a walk, actually twice a day. It was October 25th, just after supper, when he was going for his daily walk. He walked past someone who was sitting on a bench, and that's when this alleged assault occurred. Being the loving Christian man that he always was, he just said hello to the gentleman, and it ticked him off, evidently, and the guy hollered at my dad, I hate the N-word. And my dad stopped and turned around and looked at him and said, I'm sorry you feel that way. Barhide's daughter tells us that he suffered five fractures to his hip, pelvis, back, and spine. The very active 100-year-old spent weeks in the hospital and ultimately succumbed to those injuries, a loss that will really be felt around this complex and the Longmont community. Barheight was well known in the area for helping with senior programs like Meals on Wheels, and he was a volunteer for a grocery delivery program. Many of his friends and neighbors around this complex are now frightened to go outside because the suspect has not been caught. Longmont police are hoping that there may be some witnesses in the area. This was obviously before daylight savings time, so still light out after dinner. And there's also a lot of restaurants in the area. They're hoping that maybe some surveillance video caught this because they're still not exactly sure who they are looking for. Now, coming up on the CBS 4 News at 10, we'll tell you why Bar Heights daughter says that her father would not have wanted the full weight of the justice system to be thrown at this attacker. We're live in Longmont right now. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.